Last week, I started with the Pantone postcard challenge to develop my painting skills further, and I felt that this was the perfect opportunity to unbox the Mia Himi gouache set that has been lying in the studio and tested. I had bought the set a long time ago. Honestly, it was just an impulse purchase when it was launched in one of the art stores in India at a very low price, and I was there on holiday. I kept it unopened because I was determined that I would do an unboxing and review video for YouTube someday, and it's literally been months since then. And I think with me doing the Pantone challenge, the time has come for this set finally. The only disadvantage is that I think it's quite heavy. I don't think I can carry this <laughs> for a long time. It's really heavy and definitely not suitable for when you're traveling or anything but obviously who's gonna carry this big thing right this is the 56 color set of the Mia Himi gouache and comes in the form of jelly cups like these it included a mini swatch card of all these colors along with it which saved me the time from swatching all of the colors which I felt was pretty impressive Opening up each of the jelly cups by peeling off the protective film over it was a huge task and a stressful exercise for my fingers. It took a while because some of the gouache paint would stick to the film and then I had to salvage as much as I could using a palette knife. You know, I hate to waste paints no matter what. The whole thing looked so creamy and just like the name suggests, like little cups of jellies. Most of them had the binder and the pigment separated out and the binder liquid coming off like a sticky substance. So I had to make sure to stir it with something like a needle just to recombine the two. Once opened and set up, I wanted to test the paint so I thought I'll paint on the Pantone postcard straight away and try it out. I had already prepared the pencil sketch on this card using a photograph I had taken few weeks ago in the car on a rainy day. Somehow, those raindrops and the background colors intrigued me a lot. I know that this picture won't allow me to test as many colors from this set, but trying out a few would let us know the consistency and the creamy nature of the gouache paint. The colors were definitely rich and vibrant, it definitely felt creamy on the brushes because I just opened these by the way and one thing I have heard about these jelly paints are the fact that they dry up pretty quickly and crack on the surface after some time. So it's always important to keep misting or spraying them to keep them moist and creamy. While painting this, one thing I observed were the fact that this set was missing colors that I would normally have in my palette and which any person would have preferred to have readily available. Instead, this had a lot of other colors which probably won't be of much use unless you were looking to use a lot of pastel shades as these were the colors that were mostly there. For example, sap green is something which I would have really preferred to have in there but of course it is nothing which I can't mix out of the shades in the set. Honestly speaking, I kind of liked the painting when it was just the car and the background without the raindrops on it and I felt I had ruined it with those raindrops. Most importantly, what I learned was the raindrops and the dripping water should have been much smaller and narrower and then this would have made sense. But my super awesome family over at Instagram assured me that this painting is perfect and they loved it with the rain which definitely made me feel better. Since the first painting did not actually turn up as I had expected, I decided to make another one to make myself feel better. This time, I went for a much easier reference from Unsplash, but to tell you the truth, choosing a reference matching these cards is extremely difficult for me because I kind of feel like painting everything which I see, which makes it super confusing to choose one. Again, as I started painting this one, I felt that it was losing its shape. I think I overestimate the brush size and it literally needs tiny brushes to paint each of the details on the painting. 
I took this Pantone card up for painting few hours after the first one, which explains all the sunlight coming from the window now. But I just think it was making me feel the whole painting to be a lot warmer in tones, which I kind of like it when it comes to paintings. As far as the jelly cup gouache is considered, I think I appreciate the fact that there are a lot of colours in it and could potentially save up a lot of time mixing those colours if you really need them. For this Pantone project that I'm working on, I definitely think that this set is going to be highly useful for me. But in my complete honest opinion, you could go for a set with lesser number of shades and you would be absolutely fine. I think I'll review this set again after a few weeks or months just to update you regarding the status of these cups, whether they dried up and cracked or not. Painting the wooden texture was something that I really enjoyed in this painting, and I had already made up my mind when I started that this would be the area of the Pantone card that I would be leaving as it is. So all I had to do was add some texture and darker lines and details at some places, and the painting was almost done. Well, here are the two paintings. I hope you all enjoyed watching me paint these using the Mia Himi gouache set. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next video. So please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and leave a comment to show your support. This is Geetu signing off. Bye bye.